Hello, my name is Glenn Monroe and I'm the owner of Brain Diesel. And in this video, I want to show you a different way of cutting and pasting that you probably haven't come across before. We call this method spiking. And the, no the notion of spiking it is based on the old, um, the cash register receipt, uh, spike for receipts that you've seen at a diner before. Where we can cut a bunch of things, put a bunch of things on a spike, and then clean the spike off in one clean move. So here I've got a poem that should be familiar to most people. And it's, but I've got it in alphabetical order. So I want to fix that up. What I'm going to do is select the first sentence I want. And then I'm going to cut that. Now, there's different ways of cutting. You can right click and cut the cut button, a control X, any of those will work. But we want to spike it, not cut it. So to spike it, we press control F3. And now we've spiked that. Now let's take the next one we want. And again, control F3. Now we've spiked these two that easy. But where did they go? Well, they're not on the clipboard. We didn't copy them. They've actually been spiked. How we find it is you go to insert and over your, to your quick parts and there's something, it's off, your, it's off of my screen, but it's called a building blocks organizer. You click on that, it takes you right to the spike and shows you exactly what you've cut so far. So I'm going to close that down and let me just take the next two lines and cut, or er, spike those, control F3 and finally control F3. So I've got everything on the spike. Now I want to clean the spike off. So to clean the spike off, I can go to this document or any document I want. And whereas control F3 puts it on the spike, control shift F3 cleans the spike off in exactly the order you've cut everything to it. Now if I go back to my insert ribbon and over to quick parts and look at my building blocks, the spike is gone. As soon as you clean off the spike, it's empty again until you use it. So control F3 to spike things, to spike any pieces of data you want, and then control shift F3 to clean off the spike. It's a great way for temporary storage. It's for cutting and pasting. Um, how often you'll use this, you get to decide that, but it's kind of a, something different and maybe this comes in handy for you. So thanks for watching. I hope that helps. Stay pumped and we'll see you next time.